children, if you would like to come down, I would like to tell you a terrific story about a terrific boy. Come on down. Hey, great story for you. So Jesus um, is, is, do, is teaching, and there's all these people around, and nobody brought anything to eat, and he wants to feed them. And it's a whole lot of people, like way more than even the people here. Lots and lots of people. And there's a boy, and, and probably this boy probably would have been about maybe 10, something like that. And he's got just five little barley loaves, so some five little loaves of bread, and two fish. That's what he got, probably for himself. It was probably his meal. And he uh, turns out that basically Jesus asks him, if he would give though that food to Jesus so he could feed all these people. And I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of silly, right? What could a little bit of food do for all these people? And if you think about it too, the, little, the boy did something amazing. He gave all his food to Jesus. See, I don't know about you and I. I mean, like if you, some of you that go to school, somebody asks you for some food, you'll give them some, right? You give them a little bit of what you got, but you're not giving everything. Thing. And this kid gives all his food to Jesus. And then Jesus does this amazing thing. It's a great miracle. He feeds 5,000 people with just these little loaves and this little bit of fish. And there's so much food that there's food left over. I just thought, it'd be, wouldn't it be a wonderful thing to have been that boy? That you look around and see what Jesus did with what you gave to Jesus? I just think he, this kid is like way up in my list of Bible heroes. I just think it's great that he did what Jesus asked. So for you and I, we're not going to give Jesus loaves and fishes, as it were, but Jesus asked us to do things too, like, you know, be nice to people, obey our parents, obey teachers, things like that. And we want to do what the boy did. He gave everything. So in other words, it'd be like always obeying your parents and always listening to your teachers, not just kind of when you want to. Okay? You can do that? Because I just think it would have been an amazing thing to be that boy and see all the good things that came out of him doing what Jesus wanted him to do. Okay? Thanks for being here. You guys are terrific. All right. Have a good day. Just briefly for the adults, I just don't want you to lose sight of the fact that that kid gave everything. You and I, I mean, I, well, maybe not you. I, I would have, Andrew comes to me and says, hey, hey, you know, could Jesus want your food to feed everybody? I would have said, oh, uh, Andrew, how about this? I'll give you three loaves and one of the fish. And, and I think, isn't that kind of what we do? We withhold things from God. We know what God wants us to do, but we're just not able to, if you will, to use that expression, go all in. A lot of reasons for that, you know, maybe, maybe even some we think are kind of practical. But just as I was reminding the, the children, you've got to put yourself in the position of this boy. Could you imagine? He's watching this. He's sitting there and going like, wow, I did this. Like, like, I gave this to Jesus, and look what Jesus did with what little I had. I just think the feeling the kid got that day would have sustained him for the rest of his life. It just would have been this incredible moment. And the point is, I don't think that moment is reserved only to a boy who lived 2,000 years ago. I think you and I have the same opportunities, probably way more often than we think that all we need to do is follow the Lord. If you will, go all in, not hold anything back, but go all in. I bet we would get to feel that way as well.